Welcome to Bus Driver Life. My name is Kiwan and I am a bus driver in the Sacramento, California area. And you can see that I am a bus driver because there is a amazing B-roll clip playing for you right now. Now in this clip, you will see me getting onto an Orion, a 2008 Orion bus. We call them the 2800s here in the Sacramento area. And you can see me driving the Orion bus. But today we will be talking about Gillick buses. As a matter of fact, here in Sacramento, we have just received about 30 brand new 2022 Gillick BRT Plus CNG buses to go along with the 2015 Gillick BRT Plus CNG buses that we received in 2015. Yeah. Also in my hometown of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, they just recently received brand new Gillick clean diesel buses. Gillick is one of the leading manufacturers of heavy duty transit buses in the United States. So a lot of times within the transit industry, when a new bus is announced, it's typically from the perspective of the corporate staff that works within the transit industry and the bus manufacturers. They really talk the buses up. They say how comfortable they're gonna be for the rioters and how great and amazing they're gonna be for the bus drivers. But honestly, we rarely hear any real input from bus operators. Most manufacturers and most people on the corporate side in the transit industry never really ask for input on a large scale from the actual bus drivers, the bus operators, those of us that will be driving the buses every single day, eight to 12 hours a day, day in and day out for decades. So basically here at Bus Driver Life, you know, that we're talking about the life of a bus driver and that includes how we feel about buses that we operated. So I asked the bus drivers, do you enjoy driving Gillick buses? Now keep in mind, these responses are from people that drive all different types of Gillick buses. There are different specs that transit agencies can choose, different layouts. So these are gonna be different types of Gillick transit buses that people drive. But I just wanted to get an overall opinion from different bus drivers on what they think about Gillick buses in general. This comment says, Gillick's are just a 10 bus. Love MCI's. MCI is a real comfy ride for drivers as well as riders. Well, you know, that comment is kind of unfair. You can't compare a motor coach to a transit bus because motor coaches are built for comfort. Even the motor coaches that are made specifically for transit systems, for the commuter routes that a lot of, or express routes that a lot of transit systems use. I've driven one of the MCI's that were designed for commuter use and they are extremely comfortable uh, they're very easy to drive. The rear tires turn with you as you're turning around the corner. Even though the bus is a 45 foot long bus, it was just a joy to drive. It's very comfortable, very smooth. The passengers loved it. Versus a low floor transit bus, it's gonna be very bumpy, especially low floor buses. Very bumpy, very close to the ground. So you can't really compare a public transit bus to a motor coach. He ain't lying. This person says, I love them. The company I work for has several, MV Transportation. Next comment, all of our buses are Gillick and Proterra, and Gillick is better by a long shot. But being a tall guy, the Gillick CNG doesn't have enough space. And I have to agree with that because I am also a tall guy. I'm 6'2". And on the first order, the first batch of the 2015 Gillick buses that we received, the steering wheel does not come up high enough. So the steering wheel is basically rubbing against my legs. So what I have to do is lower the seat all the way down. I have to sit much lower than I'm comfortable with, especially operating a bus, just so that I can have some clearance between the steering wheel and my legs. And that is a complaint from a lot of taller people. This person says they have improved them a lot over the years. This driver says, I love our Gillix. It's the new flyers I can't stand. Ooh, a little bit of shade to new flyer. Hmm. This driver said, they are not made for coach operators over six feet tall. Passenger interior space is limited, multiple blind spots on the BRT. Yes, as we said before, people over six feet or even 5'11 and up, it's gonna be a bit tight on some of the Gillick buses. Also, yes, they do have some very interesting blind spots and I actually did a video about that, which you can check out, where I specifically talk about some of the blind spots that are on the Gillick BRT Plus buses. This next driver says, I definitely prefer Nova bus by far. According to me, the driver's area of the Gillix and New Flyers are not the best. Fortunately, my transit company owns mainly Nova bus. This next bus operator says, I'd rather drive a Gillick in the snow than anything else. I know that. 
Next driver, I love driving them. That's all we have on our fleet from electric to CNG. Haven't had any problems and that's at Lextran. Awesome. This person said the headlights suck, too dim. I raise the steering wheel high and lower my seat. No problem for me. Overall, I like them. Okay. Next driver, I hate the gillet. The steering wheel doesn't go up enough. Seat uncomfortable and the mirrors are the worst. Bus has my knees and back hurting. This driver says, I personally don't like Gillick. Just my opinion, since I'm tall, the steering wheel doesn't come up high enough. I find more space for my legs in Novas and New Flyers. I would say nabby, but they ride rough. This person says, throw the whole darn bus away. Next person, I see our Proterras and New Flyers on the tow trucks the most. Another person says, I hate those being the Gillicks. They don't like the Gillicks. In fact, they hate them. Okay. So this person says we have relatively new ones from 2019 and I wouldn't really say I'm impressed with them. They have the small normal size steering wheels which are pretty effortless to use. And yes, on our brand new 2022 Gillick buses that we got here in Sacramento, we have the small motorized, I believe it's like a motorized steering wheel and it makes it extremely easy to turn and steer the bus. And with the smaller steering wheel, even though it takes some time to get used to, it's gonna be a lot easier on your neck and your shoulders over time. And continuing on here says the buttons feel cheap and seem to break easily. Honestly, the bus feels cheap, although I know it probably isn't. Likely we just ordered cheaper versions to save money or to fit budgets. But yeah, my favorite is still our old Orions, which we no longer have. Another person says, when I was a driver, Gillick was the best bus I've ever driven from their phantom school buses to the low floors. What do you all think about the Gillick buses? Where do they rank? on the list of your favorite transit buses right now. Let me know in the comments below. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Hit the like button if you like the video. It's not really a button, right? No! And thank you for watching Bus Driver Life.